Dude has been powering up. Yes, yes. Woohoo, he ready. Damn. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? Your boy and I'm some cooler South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Superman and Lois episode 14. I heard this show was originally supposed to have 13 episodes, but then they gave it like a two episode bump because it was doing so well. I mean, like it's an Arrowverse show with an HBO budget. That's the perfect combination. All the other Arrowverse shows should take notes. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed watching the final two episodes of Flash on my channel, not the whole season. So I thought, let me jump into the Superman and Lois train. I've watched all the previous episodes at my own leisure, at my own time. So I thought, let me just finish the last two and probably start the new season. You know what I'm saying? Even Flash, start the whole new season. Because I was too late to the train when it came to reacting to the whole season. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you understand why I only have two episodes of Superman and Lois. But next season expect more so like and subscribe anyway we previously left off with Clark's brother absorbing the sun <laughs> that was hella interesting and to catch you up on my thoughts of the show I think it's fantastic I think it's like a, a 10 out of 10 fucking Arrowverse show <laughs> um uh Jordan is my favorite character outside of not Jordan uh Jonathan is my favorite character outside of Superman and Lois, of course. Even um, Steel is up there before Jordan. <laughs> Jordan's just, he, he, he takes it too far sometimes. He doesn't follow the rules and he does too much to fit in and to get the girl of his dreams, which he got. But this is the first time he's feeling the, the sting of popularity, as you put it, because one of the best episodes showed his worst traits which was the Metropolis episode when they had the Metropolis game and show and Clark showed his restraint from getting shot with the kryptonite gun and he couldn't and broke Jonathan's hand. Like that episode, the parallel in that episode, this show is fantastic, by the way. I don't know if I've said it enough, but I'm, I'm going on too long. Let's just dive right into it. Now you know where I stand. This is Superman and Lois, episode 14. The budget, though. The cinematography, the style, the color palette. Such a great show. I'm excited to show my excitement. He is the eradicator. This power up. Oh my god. So they starting us with the power up. Damn. So he can just touch people now? And they'll be Kryptonians? Three weeks later? Open house, are they moving? What a great family, though. What? The town is going to shit? <laughs> Damn, Lois and her father's relationship is so shattered. You were a reporter first, not a daughter first. Look at them flirting. She can't say goodbye to him? They're a big part of the show. There's no way they're leaving. Rebuild that hope they used to have. What is she upset? Oh, she knew he was coming over. Oh, you're showing your powers, Jordan. What if they take the crappy offer? It would build the tension, though. It's goddamn steel and Superboy. <laughs> I thought they would be getting more along, though. She was 14 years old. That was stupid. Damn. Your daughter's still alive. You know that, right? Just go to the other universe. Call Cisco up. Doesn't he have those portal thingy mobs? Like I said, I thought they were getting more along than this. He's more like a pest to him. She's also moving? God damn. Small fields in the shitter. Dude has been powering up. Yes. yes. Woohoo, he ready. Damn. Is this the town hall meeting they go into? They chanting? What are they gonna do though? Did he lose his job, job or 
Are they able to fire you over them not trusting you no more? We can make it I guess we'll go fire fire. I said fire fire. <laughs> Dude out here third wheeling this. The way they so cool with them now dating. When it, they were a vein of his existence before he was a sports star. Ooh, is that the ex-boyfriend? What is she gonna say? They still don't know what's happening? They saw their neighbors flying and have superpowers though. How is this gonna calm them down? What is this proof she has? Y'all were treating him like shit, so... The town wants you to stay, man. At least the good people do. Ooh, he's coming for her. Damn. That sounds like so much blood. They have to suggest the bloodshed. She has an idea. Oh, Superman. It's time for some Superman action. What is he waiting for? Teenage party. Yay. <laughs> I'm only saying that because I want to see the action, not this. Come on, Jonathan, you're being mad, irresponsible right now. Oh, it's her. Mr. User. Did he get the job? Oh. So the conversation ended because they got a job? God damn. What, did they think she would be like, hey, let's leave? <laughs> damn. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. that's six Kryptonians. He's gonna fight four? Is, is Morgan Edge just gonna stand there? Did Lois really need to tell y'all though? Damn. Yo. He knocked him out. Damn. The budget for the show. Oh, he mad mad now. Take it down, dude. <laughs> 90 seconds? Damn. You got the right impression of you, girly. Dude, she's so bad news, man. She moved here too? Who's her dad? She got a super villain dad? Jonathan, you're such a good guy, but man, she has so many red flags. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Goddamn. Is she snapping? Damn. What if we get that same shot of like Superman killing her, but it's Morgan Edge flying behind her? That'd be so cool. Damn, he's fighting two at a time. Oh my god, it is that shot, but it's her. It's poetic, yo. This time she will be saved, yo. Oh, he's gonna save her. He wasn't aiming for you, man. Ooh. He's dead shot now. He never misses. Why is he just floating in one position? Damn. He's gone? Damn, he, is he going after the boys? Damn, he's getting dumped. She actually is smitten over him. Damn, if he turns his kids, yo. Damn. Yo. Ooh, clock won't hurt his kids. Damn, what a twist. Damn, they're all injured. Why is he just watching them? Why is he just standing there? Damn. Damn. Damn, he took Jordan. Damn. Jordan did have those evil elegant eyes first episode. Damn. They're gonna end us with a cliffhanger, aren't they? Damn. The place where it all started. Damn. What is he actually doing? Is he changing him? Damn, he's such a concerned father right now. Wasn't he yelling though? Why couldn't he hear him? Damn, is that how they're gonna end this? He's still screaming, that's what I'm saying. You couldn't hear the scream? You know what would be crazy? If he put his dad inside Jordan. Oh, he did put his dad inside Jordan. What? <laughs> I totally called it. It's the most interesting approach. Let's begin. Look at those red eyes, ready to start some shit. I wonder if he'll do something like in a global scale where everybody will see Jordan using these abilities and then don't treat him different because of it. Or are they going to make it somewhat of a contained situation where Jordan's going to be a threat, but somewhere far away where the world doesn't see him using abilities, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm really curious. This was a great episode. The 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 team drama stuff did have some pacing problems with me because I was more interested in the action and what the plan was. But it all led to this big moment. Like we had to see Jordan, you know what I'm saying, beat down his relationship on the edge. God damn man. What a way to end it. Not a I give this episode like a let's say eight out of ten. Like I said, the teen stuff was kind of still like, you know what I'm saying? Save that for next season. I want to see some action pack Metropolis saving things that we saw in this episode. Then it was like, oh, to more teen stuff. <laughs> you know, it just took me out of the show a little bit, but still a phenomenal episode. Really enjoying the hell out of this show. Superman and Lois episode 14. Tell me what you guys think. Yo. Yo. I heard Starkel still the same quality as it was on DC Universe. So I hope the show keeps continuing being the same amount of episodes, the same amount of quality, same amount of contained story in the second season. It doesn't get filler. Yo, I'm excited. Anyway, I'm about to dive right into Stargirl. Like if you like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Deuces.